Hi, welcome to Ski Talk. I'm Steve, your host and ski buyer and ski EO here at skis.com. This is Ray Skelton, our Dalbello ski rep, and we're going to talk about the Dalbello Il Moro. Uh, we don't have a sample because it's such a hot boot. I think this is the coolest looking boot on the market this year, without a doubt. Um, I, everybody at the shows were all the rave about it, but you had to sell your sample because somebody had to have it. Yeah. But it'll be up on the green screen, so you'll be able to see what we're talking about. So tell us about this boot, Ray. Well, the El Moro, um, several years ago, we, we started working with Tanner Hall, who most of you know is the world's best free ride skiers. Tan we basically gave Tanner a free slate to tell us what he wanted to do in his boot. So we had Tanner skiing in the original Krypton Rampage. Mm -hmm. And then he, then he came up with a, you know, he and Glenn Plate came up with a new design for an upper closure buckle, which you'll see in the, in the shot here. But it's called the Wide Hyperband Hiker Buckle, which is a lot of words to say. But in a nutshell, it's a band that you can adjust on the fly. You can adjust it quickly. You don't have a power strap and then a buckle. You have one wide strap that's all integrated into one. You can flip it open for hiking. So when you get off you know, a helicopter at the top of the hill or you get off a chairlift and you're walking for a ways, you can, you can release the buckle. You can hike with the boot and the top is open freely, but it never unlatches and you don't have buckles flopping all over the place. Then when you take off the ski, you close the buckle and you're ready to rip. Um, the boot also, you know, it's it's our cla it's our our standard three-piece Krypton design. So you have the uh, you have the lower shell, you have the rear cuff, and you have that nylon ribbed tongue. It's really been the go-to design for any freestyle boot. Oh yeah, and when you've seen Tanner do the things that he does, and dropping into pipes or dropping off cliffs or things like that, the rib tongue in conjunction with the low hinge point of our rear cuff, basically it allows the leg to flex freely and absorb shocks better than any boot design in the industry. Now this boot's got the full customizable Intuition ID liner in it. Right, so it so is. great fit. It's it's fit to every square centimeter of your foot. Yeah. Perfect fit. Now it's a 99 last. Right. Um, so it's a narrow fit, but still allows space in the key points where you need it. Right, that's, that's, C4. that's a feature that we call C4, and um, you hit on that. C4 stands for Comfort 4, and we, what we did is we punched four key spots that typically boot fitters will have to adjust the Same places boots. where people usually end up punching their boots anyway. Right, that six toe, that wide area by the side of your foot, the navicular bone, the ankle bone, and, and by the, the top of your heel. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's what C4 is all about. What it also does is sometimes when you talk about 99 or 98 last of boots, people get a little scared that they're narrow. It makes this boot feel more like it's a little wider when you put your foot into it. Mm -hmm. Sure. Any other features Tanner put into this boot specifically? One of the other things, and this is something that uh, Dr. Stedman said after Tanner had that uh, that one crash on Chad's Gap. Is Dr. We, Stedman we, is the famous knee doctor. Right, right. When he was putting Tanner's heels and, and feet back together, we have a full <laughs> rubber boot board. Mm -hmm. And he said that uh, the rubber boot board helps absorb, sho you know, absorb shocks and big landings and jumps and things like that. But um, I mean, this thing is a big burly, about three quarters of an inch thick rubber boot board. And um, and St Dr. Stedman said that if, had, had he not had that, he probably would have shattered his, his heel and ankle entirely. So, uh, you know, great liner, the, the rubber boot board, hyperband, it's a fully loaded freestyle boot. Okay. And did he come up with the design on the boot, the colors? Um, yeah, he, you know, Tanner just, every year we just give him a, we give him a chalkboard basically and say, do what you want to do. So it is, you'll, as you see in the picture, it's one of the coolest looking boots. Yeah, I think and, you did a good job with it. you know, one of, one of the other things that I, I have to, I have to say about the boot though, Glenn Plake, who most of you guys know, and if you don't know, he's the guy with the mohawk. The guy with the big mohawk. But Glenn and Tanner are good buddies and they kind of help put this boot together. Glenn will also tell you this, this, this ain't no kitty freestyle boot. Ha half of the, um, half of the ski patrol or what they call the ski guides in Chamonix, more than half of them ski in Omoros. This is an everyday, big mountain, hardcore ripping boot. Yes, yeah, so that's important. Even though this is in the free style collection, right. um, Glenn Plake is not a freestyle skier, he's a big mountain skier, so right. it works for both groups. Yeah, this boot, this boot goes, goes everywhere for whatever discipline you want to do. Okay, so I think you kind of described it, but who's, the, who's that customer who would love this boot? This is um, this is basically anybody from you know hardcore freestyle to hardcore big mountain free ride skiers. Yep, it, it really does it all. The real deal. Okay, yeah. there you have it. That's the Del, Del Bello El Moro. Thanks for joining us, Ray. You bet. Thanks, thanks for having me today. And thanks for joining us. Have a great day.